Hello to you all. I'm Professor Lawrence Field. I'm a professor at the University of Texas, San Antonio. I'm in my retirement home. Uh, I don't have an office anymore. I'm 91 almost. I continue to serve the world and I'm going to tell you a story about a very special method of treating a variety of bad problems we all have, scars, tattoos, cancer scars, wrinkles, the prevention of more cancers from coming in those prone from actinic damage, and bifid nose, those that have bifid noses. This method is called derma sanding, and Dr. Herb Janko, from whom I first heard about this in 1988, at a meeting of the American Society for Dermalogic Surgery in Santa Barbara, and then Dr. Janko had been in Canada, where he listened to Dr. Maliner from Oregon, USA, discuss this work. So it's part of the International Exchange of Information, and I've taught this around the world. One of the most impressive places I taught it was in Thailand, and Dr. Rocher may be using some of the slides from Thailand. The people at the Laser Institute in Bangkok decided this was a better method of treating many of their problems than laser. And I assure you that is true. Laser has more complications than dermabrasion. Laser has more complications from chemical peel. And the reason is the reasons are many, but remember, laser burns, and that burn gives the additional problems which we see. With derma sanding, you have a fresh wound, fresh skin, without bleeding, or minimally so. You don't have to do anything about it except press on it. So, the critical element here is, is a drywall sanding screen drywall sanding screen. It's a silicone carbide, silicone carbide, waterproof sandpaper. It can be sterilized and you should sterilize it. It does not drop pieces of silicone off into the skin to evoke foreign body reactions. To my knowledge, there are no descriptions of that to date. It comes in different grits. The higher the number, the finer the grit. The lower the number, the rougher the grit. So I have my little notes here. So it's a, it's used in metal work and wet. You can cut the, the sandpaper to the desired size. You can sterilize it. And then for all of you that have ever worked with wood to sand it, you can take whatever element of the skin you have, stabilize it and take your sandpaper and wrap it around something which is firm. It may be rounded, it may be squared, but firm. And use it just as you would if you were sanding a piece of wood. You sand it to the point you see fine punctate bleeders that you stop and you continue that until you finish your process wherever it is harder in the center perhaps where you need more depth of penetration and gradually lessening your pressure as you go peripherally healing is within two weeks no scarring and if you see anything happening intervene with dilute Triamcinolone as soon as you see something, but very dilute. Uh, the dispigmentation will be the thing that bothers you most. It may take six months for the pigment to restore, but you'll see excellent he healing four to five weeks. Virtual stir stabilization at three months and the dis dis dispigmentation some hyper, some hypo, fused together so you get a beautiful result. So as you try it, 
try it on noses, which are very forgiving. Master the technique, getting into the grooves of the nose, putting something inside the nose to stabilize it as you do it, but it's superb. If you have patients with cancers in the nose, it is an excellent technique to put the entire nose together using uh, tumescent surgical anesthesia, which I described. Tumescent surgical anesthesia. Put the skin to sleep, do your procedure, stop the bleeding with you know, aluminum chloride 40%. Again, aluminum chloride 40%. Have your pharmacist make it up and it will change your lives for so many things you do. I hope you've enjoyed this short talk. Thank you so much. Godspeed.